Hey there guys, what is going on? Today we've got another video from our best gun series for Modern Warfare. Now, people already thought this was a god gun before patch 1.07. Like, the MP5 has typically been a strong in a lot of games, this one included. But god damn, they've done something special here. You can see in the background with the right attachments, the MP5 does actually just shred people and really only gets competition up close from the MP7 and the... 725. Which for some reason was accidentally buffed somehow in the latest patch. I don't really know what went wrong there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, before we do jump into some of the attachment choices for this bad boy, let's try and get this video to a massive two likes. If this video does hit two likes in the next few days, I'll upload another Modern Warfare Best Gun video on Monday. But I was already going to do that anyway, so if you really hit the like button, it doesn't really hurt. Yeah. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notifications turned on because I really do appreciate all the support the Best Gun videos have received so far with all the comments and the likes. Okay, so the first and most important attachment that you have to worry about when the MP5 comes around is the 10mm auto 30 round mags. Basically, once you get to level 24 with the MP5, you'll unlock this bad boy, which gives increased damage to the gun and increases the range while reducing the fire rate and reducing the aiming recoil control. Now, I'm not an expert on guns, and honestly, I don't really know anything about guns apart from stats I see in video games, but I would usually suggest that having the biggest bullet you can in your shooty boy makes a difference. I mean, look at the difference here between these two absolute units in the bullet community. I feel the FTAC collapsible stock is the best one that you can choose out of the available options, but you can also choose to run the Forge TAC Ultra Light or the FFS Close Quarters, or maybe even sometimes the classic straight line stock. This isn't really one that you should go with too often. It does reduce your aim walking speed, which is pretty bad, but all of the other three are pretty acceptable, like aim walking speed for that guy there, aim down sight speed for that guy there, or moved, movement speed and aim down sight speed there. So typically, you're going to lose a little bit of recoil control and some aiming stability when you chuck one of these on, but typically, I will go with the FTAC collapsible just because it makes me a little bit faster. You want to get sped up a bit, and yeah, it's just it's just sort of up to your preferred play style, really. Movement sprint speed versus like aim walking speed is always a close choice, so it's sort of whatever you prefer, but I go with the FTAC collapsible. Typically, I'm going to choose the Commando full grip for most of the weapons I get in the game. It's usually one of the early un unlocks that you can get, and it does help with that weapon sway, the recoil, stabilization, aiming stability, and all that good stuff. It does help you stay on target a little bit more, but again, this is personal preference. Like, you can also reduce your hip fire, or increase your hip fire accuracy, and reduce your vertical recoil with other options. Like, you can pick sort of whatever you think is going to work better for you here. You can even replace this with a laser sight if you're feeling saucy, like... Not going to go commando grip, you can go with the laser sight. So again, th these are all up to you, but I typically go with the commando four grip. I always use the stippled grip tape on pretty much everything that I have it unlocked for. It's just, it's just really, really good. Like, it's just super strong. Getting those sights up fast when someone takes you by surprise is always so powerful in games like these, and this year is no exception. You really don't lose out on too much here by reducing your aiming stability. Eh, who cares about that? You get that massive aim down sight speed increase and the speed sprint to fire speed increase just makes this so so good so always take the stipple grip tape unless you're looking to sort of reduce your recoil or your aim steadiness and stuff like that so stipple grip tape for me and a lot of the time you don't really have to worry about a sight on the, uh, the mp5 because the iron sights are super super clean as you can see in the background here these the iron sights are they're pretty nice so don't worry about a sight too much okay so now for the muzzle and the barrel you have a few different options i feel like the best setup that you could go for would be the ffs mini and then you're going to have to get rid of your, uh, one of your other attachments. So maybe the Commando foregrip, ditch that off. And then the monolith Monolithic Suppressor. So with the FFS and Mini Barrel, you get that aim down sight speed and movement speed, which just increases your aim down sight speed and movement speed by a lot. And you get that, you get all that going. And then you get the Monolithic, monolithic Suppressor, which gives you that sound suppression and that damage range. Always good for a submachine gun, which, I mean, that's sort of what I would go with. But you can also ditch the, uh, the muzzle entirely. We take the Monolithic Suppressor off and we chuck on the Subsonic no, not that one. The monolithic integral suppressor, which gives you that sound suppression and that bullet velocity, is another option that you can go with. It's sort of, sort of pick your poison there. Like you can pick either one of those and still do, do a pretty great job. But yeah, thinking about this, imagine if you could do this. Imagine if you could have the monolithic integral suppressor, and then have the, <laughs> the monolithic suppressor on the top of it. Like imagine what that stupid ass shit would look like. Like how sneaky would you be? But how absolutely ridiculous would your gun look? Like your suppressor would just be massive. So yeah, this is the setup I'd probably rock for the most part, but the thing I love about MP5 and the Modern Warfare in general is choice. Like, 
you can make your gun perform exactly how you want it to with the gunsmith. That's probably one of the best and most significant features they've added for for years, I'd guess. It's very similar to them changing it to a pick 10 class system. It's that big of a change, I feel. Like, if you want to pick every single attachment that increases your aim down sight speed and in movement speed, you can do that. Like, your re recoil might suffer a little bit and you might feel a little bit off, but you can get those sights up as quick as you can and get those shots down range. Like, the game gives you loads and loads of choice, and that's probably my favorite part overall. Okay, I'm just going to let the rest of this play out. Hopefully this gun setup did help you a little bit. If it did, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here. I'd very much appreciate it, and it would very much help me out. Have a good one, dudes. Peace! That gave him something.